Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel or another animated reaction video. This time we are going to be watching 101 Dalmatians. Now I see you might be asking yourself, hey, are you watching this just because Cruella just came out? Well, yes, of course, but I also really wanted to rewatch this movie just because I was interested in it. I haven't seen it in a while, but I'm excited to revisit it now that I'm older and can retain information. And the thing that I'm really excited to see in this movie is particularly the character animation and uh, I don't know why, but the line work in the animation is the thing that's like stuck in my head that I keep thinking about. If I remember correctly, the line work in this movie feels a lot more like sketchy and just loose rather than uh, what we watched last week, you know, Sleeping Beauty. Uh, if we remember the line work in that movie was very precise and neat and colored even, so it looked a lot more soft, but I think in this movie it is a lot more sketchy and a lot more energetic, which kind of fits with the mood of the movie, I do believe. But besides the line work, I don't think I remember anything about this movie. I mean, I feel like I'm mixing up plot lines from Lady and the Tramp and 101 Dalmatians, which I mean, they're both dog movies, so can you blame me? Not really, but uh, I'm excited to get into this and I think it's gonna be pretty good. So I think it said that this movie came out in 1961, which apparently I think was two years after Sleeping Beauty. Oh, there it is. 101 Dalmatians. Yeah, I definitely don't remember the intro to this at all. I feel like I might have caught it randomly on TV or something. This is giving me Foster's Home for Imaginary Friend vibes. You know that intro? But I, I had a rough idea of what to look for. Uh, I've seen this so many times. The people that look like the dogs. What is that texture of the fur that looks so funky? Whoa, that's that's cute. Oh, the puppy's so cute. Oh my god. I love how lived in the environment of his house looks, which I know sounds pretty obvious, but like... Wait, I'm distracted by the girls. <laughs> they do look nice. The color scheme of the environment is really good too. And the way that... The um, color does not stay inside the lines, gives it a really nice energy. The backgrounds look like so different from the Sleeping Beauty backgrounds that we saw though, since they're a lot more line oriented with solid um, pieces of color. They still fade into the background though, with thinner line work, which looks nice. Monet vibes, okay, I see it. The ink work on the tree too, look how like they implied the bark with the more rough texture. Looks cool. She said, just go away! <laughs> oh no! They're cute though! They are cute! <laughs> Is he already playing the Corolla de Vil song? Oh my god, look at the chair! I love furniture that looks like this so much. I love it so much. Look how, like, brown the environment is to leave the characters to, um, stand out so much more against the background. And then we get to this place. Her environment was just, like, brown so that her self, like, stands out against it, which was nice and it looked really good. But we look at his room. Look how much more, like, saturated the color is. It's more, like, saturated than his own person. But it's, like, his same color palette, you know? It, it, it's messy, but I feel like it's just a reflection of his character, which, which we can see in the color. Um, it's, like, it's just a nice lived-in environment that, like, belongs to him, you know? It's clear that it is his... It belongs to his character, and it is a reflection of his character. That's so good. I love that. <laughs> Roger's a sweetheart. I love him. Also, I love how all the paintings are just, like, sketches. Ooh, we get to see the silhouette first, the build-up, the build-up of her character. How nice. This is so exciting! I'm, like, hyped. Why am I hyped? This is, like, the most slice-of-life movie. Oh my god. That yellow-green coming out of her pipe looks absolutely toxic. Like, it stands out so much against the nice neutral background it looks disgusting which is obviously the point <laughs> I worship her. 
she loves furs and she looks great in the furs. I love how it builds up her silhouette, even though she's a very like like scrawny, like, kind of sickly looking woman. Um, the furs give her a really cool shape. I love it, like how it like hangs off her shoulders though, so you can see her like body underneath in the solid black dress against the red. It's so good. The puppies arrived right on schedule. One wild and stormy night in October. Again, the ink work with that wood is great. <laughs> His expression is great too. Oh. It's okay, it doesn't die. I remember this. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. The big nose. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> she said, "Oh." Take it, they're mongrels. No spots, no spots at all. What a horrid little white rat! <laughs> I love her. You idiot! Damn. What? She broke her their door during a storm. You gotta pay for that. I mean, isn't she rich? Oh. They're older now. Oh my God! The little tail. They really said, we're going to use our pencils for the animation and just color under it. Who needs a line work when you have some nice <laughs> pencil sketches? And I love it. I love the I love the texture. Oh, nice. Like, look how dark and monochromatic the environment is now. Ominous. Things are about to go down. Oh, they had names. <laughs> Dog napped. They chose the saddest picture. Must be a slow town if that made it on the news. I mean, it was a lot of puppies, though. You know what? Oh? My god. That bright pink. Oh. Again, contrasting the very cool blues and browns of the other house. Come on now, we're going home. Ooh, Great Dane. I like how I can recognize the dog breeds immediately by the shapes that they decided to exaggerate. Oh my god, look at the fur, they're so cute. Have they called the police? Scotland Yard. The humans have tried everything. Now it's up to us dogs. <laughs> If I heard that dog barking, that would scare the crap out of me. Are you kidding? What? I thought that dude was in... I'm getting... I, I swear these characters were in... Um, f uh, Lady and the Tramp. Is there gonna be a bloodhound breaking his leg at one point in this movie? Or is that in Lady and the Tramp? I honest to God don't remember. That dude breaks his leg, right? A goose? What's going on? What is it? What's all the gossip? I can't remember. Was there also a bloodhound and terrier in in um not Fox and the Hound? Oh my god, Lady of the Tramp. Why are there so many dog movies with bloodhounds? Hey, look, Horace. Watch me Potty's lordship smack on the conk. The what? <laughs> That looked like a colored pencil portrait, but what the fuck? What the hell did he just say? That looks like a good sandwich, though. That looks like a sandwich that you'd make during at the the Lilo and Stitch, uh, sandwich dropper game. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Also, when did it start snowing? <laughs> it's like a freaking blizzard. My mind immediately went to Moss Kit. If you know, you know. Hopefully we won't have a repeat of that situation this time. Do you understand? Tonight! But they ain't big enough. You couldn't get off a dozen coats out of the old caboodle. Coats? Dogskin? Coats? Mm. Then we'll settle for half a dozen. We can't wait. <laughs> the police are everywhere. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if they find you with all the dead puppies, you'd still be arrested. Perhaps face even more extreme charges. I don't think it's a matter of killing them and then you're be good. You know, I think it's probably worse. And the job better be done, or I'll I'll call the police. Do you understand? 
Oh, she's gonna try and blame it on them. Yes. Hey, what do you know? Old meat and bones water. <laughs> oh, is that one of their other Robin buddies? <laughs> one at a time. Come one on, guys. Time, one at a time. <laughs> we thought iPad kids were a problem, sir. Do you want to get skinned? Stop watching the TV. <laughs> yeah, grab the tail. That's so cute. I love the cat's little hands. Cats do look like they have, like, fingers when they spread their paws out like that. I like how the background elements are still- I mean, it's all monochromatic, so they don't really stand out a lot, so you could put a lot of detail and a lot of different, like, objects in the background that can kind of tell a kind of character of the environment, but without it standing out too much. So you can still focus on the characters, and all you need to do is, like, let your eye explore kind of more naturally. It doesn't, like, take up too much of your focus. Oh my the red! E. Now we got a voice. Oh god! And the angle. Hey, what have we got here? A couple of spotted hyenas? <laughs> Come on, Oris, They're pal. snarling like that. Oi! Nin ninety-nine. Where did they all come from? Wasn't it supposed to be 101? Where's the other two? Oh, they're following the tracks. Oh, I mean there is like a hundred dogs. Ninety-nine puppies. Two adult. I've never been on ice before. How slippery is it? Would dogs be able to walk on it? I know polar bears have to do that like little shimmy maneuver, but I think that's just because the ice is thin, right? How slippery is ice? You know, I played Minecraft. I get it. But they seem to be doing all right. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Pongo, I've got a ride home for you. A ride home? And there's room for all of you. Pongo. I like how her car even looks like it has angry eyes. Oh, jeez. That's, that's scary. It's cool that they already established that um, the Labradors are the same, like, shape as um, the Dalmatians. Unlike all the other dogs that we saw that are completely different shapes than um, the way that they're, they had been drawing the Dalmatians. No, but we're running out of time. There's no way they can pile 99 puppies into the car in time. Are you kidding me? Absolutely not. It's a cute little town, though. I'm loving the way that the buildings are drawn. I don't think I said that before yet, but the buildings look really cool. The texture just works so much with the environment and setting. But a more, like, industrial, like, like modern society using a little bit more texture to it. Adds more character to it. Like, it just, not even more character, just, like, um, a different character than the Sleeping Beauty backgrounds. Oh no, the drip! Oh my god, no! Oh wait, that's like reverse dots. No! No! Oh my god, the music. <laughs> Intense. She's dead. She, she's dead. Maybe that coat can act as like an airbag or something. Oh, the fluffiness in her car. So much fun. That the car's like designed for her. I mean, obviously it's it's just like it feels like it belongs to her character. You know, it's not just some old car, it's her car. Which is a cool, good design. Oh! Oh my god! It's like a It's spouting fire now. Holy crap. No way they can make that sharp turn. Oh my god. I've never driven in snow before. Honestly, it feels like a my worst nightmare! Oh my god! Lord. That has to be the end of them, right? They're covered with <laughs> Look, here's Lucky! Oh, Pongo boys! That's gonna take so long to wipe off. Their apartment's gonna get so dirty. I guess they don't care since their dogs came home, so. God, that- all that barking's probably gonna get so annoying. <laughs> That's cute, though! 
And all the lights turn on because all the dogs are barking. Oh no! And a happy ending. Oh, that was so sweet. So that was 101 Dalmatians, and I'm surprised I didn't remember as much as I thought I did from watching this growing up, so that's good though. But um, that was really cute. I was not expecting to enjoy the environments as much as I thought I was. I knew that I was going to like the expressive line work, um, which I did really enjoy. I loved the ink work. I loved... I mean, it's weird because like I feel like in the backgrounds it looks like ink, but then uh, with the character animation it looked like pencil just because of the texture of it. Um, was different, but it looked so cool, and I think it added a lot to the style of the movie and definitely differentiates it. The thing that I wasn't expecting to love as much as I did, though, was the color designs. Just the idea of having some nice, like, rough, expressive ink work and then having solid colors under that is really interesting. I mean, I think it does still follow along the lines of the art styles of this time period in the, um, you know, late 50s, early 60s. I really like the characters as well. They uh, used a lot of shape for the characters and the way that they animated the characters looked really fun. And of course, Disney being experts on giving expression to their animal characters, which isn't an easy thing to do, but I mean, I guess with dogs, we're kind of trained as humans to recognize their expressions because we kind of bred them to be able to do that, but it looked really, really cool. But anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my reaction and as always, uh, if you'd like to see more videos from me, consider subscribing, and if you'd like to see my art, you can check out my Instagram and Twitter and TikTok. But anyways, that's gonna be it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.